What you're looking at here is my first big game in C++ using SFML. I worked at it for a few months and even joined a national programming contest with it. But more on that later. I want to share with you five things that I learned because I think they are of value for any developer out there. If you implement all of them, especially the last one, I promise you that will improve your coding output. The first one is probably obvious, but I'll throw it just in case, and it is code something you enjoy doing. I have always liked building games, and this is why I managed to work so much on this project. I even tried making a better version of it in another video of mine if you want to see that. So, choose something you enjoy doing, in this way you will be more motivated to write code and learn new things. The next one is making tools to improve your development speed. All the blocks that you see here were replaced by hand by me, and it took me a long time. I had to do that, however, in order to test enemy spawning and collisions. A better strategy would have been for me to first make the world generator, and then other systems that need it after. The tools don't have to be time consuming. I have a shortcut to change the item type so I can test new items without having to obtain them in game. For another personal project, I have made a level editor and I even took the time to add things like copy pasting and making custom structures because it will save me a lot of time later. The third advice is learn by doing. When I started, I didn't have any idea how to make a game like this. All I knew was how to render sprites and move a player. After that, I managed to add collisions. Block placement was not difficult and, in the end, I ended up making a far more difficult game than I expected. You probably remember that I mentioned the contest. After making the game, I used it to participate to an informatics contest and managed to get to the national stage. When the judges asked me what made my project stand out compared to Terraria, my response was that it was just a Terraria clone. This brings me to the fourth lesson, and it is learning to sell your product. Whether you are planning to sell it or release it for free, be sure to highlight what makes it unique and different from similar software. The last advice is probably the most important, and it is learning when to use different technologies. Let me explain. I have always seen projects on GitHub that use many different programming languages, and I thought that was so cool, but my projects only used C++. So for this game, I thought I would use C# to create a level generator. Whenever you choose to use a technology, however, you should think about the pros and cons of it. In my case, there were not many benefits, but rather more drawbacks. You also have to be careful when using technologies that you don't know about. The best way of learning something new is probably trying it, but be careful because a new technology can break your project. In my case, I just learned about polymorphism and I used it for the inventory system. Again, it didn't bring me any advantage in my case, but instead added too much complexity to the code and broke the inventory system. Another example is using Git. You should definitely learn how to use it, but it can easily break your project if you don't pay attention. These were the things that I learned from making my first game. If you are more advanced and already knew some of these things, maybe drop some of your own tips in the comment section so you can also help others. If you want to start making your own games in C++ but don't know where to start, I have a video on that too. It is only 4 minutes, so you might want to take a look. Until then, I plan releasing some more videos where I share my knowledge, so if you are interested in that, consider subscribing.